project. This will be our, fi our final project of the semester. It's on stained glass. And what we're going to do is, uh, what I call it is a candle box. Now ours aren't going to be as, as elaborate as this one, but I want to show you the idea. So what it is, it's a glass design that is made from uh, glass, obviously, and uh, it's assembled and inside goes a candle, okay? Um, now, it'll basically, it's four rectangular sides that are attached and soldered together to form this glass box. Now what you're gonna do is decide what is your box gonna look like? What are the shapes gonna look like? What's the color glass gonna look like? Uh, is it gonna be representational? Like for example, this one looks like a sunset, whereas the previous one is just a bunch of shapes and colors. But whatever design you come up with, it has to follow the elements of design, which would be repetition and unity and balance and variety and possibly emphasis if it has a center of interest, but it doesn't have to have that, like this one does, okay? Now, your box doesn't necessarily have to have edges that are straight on the top. For example, here's a box, which is a pretty cool design that just repeats all, all the way around it. So you could design something like this that has an irregular top, okay? When you look at this side, this is the exact side here, and on the other side, and the other side. So really what you're doing is creating one side and just repeating it four times. Okay, so you're gonna come up with those ideas. Now, you can make boxes that actually have holes in them. In other words, you can have spaces between some of these things. Now, this one's super elaborate. We're not gonna do anything this complicated, okay? Uh, but this is the basic idea, okay? So here's another design. It's the same design on all four sides, but the glass is slightly different. Uh, here's one that has a pr little prism of glass. That would be something you have to buy on your own, but you can see it's got basically two colors with a prism and you can see the candle through there. Here's another one with an irregular top. Now this one isn't square. It's kind of, uh, it's, it, it kind of goes out a little bit. It's made a bunch of geometric shapes. Here's another one made with geometric shapes and the top is kind of unusual. Okay, and here's some more. So these are all basically made from glass and solder. Now you do have the possibility of making something that's pyramid shape. Basically, if you make four sides, they have to fit together. Now if it's pyramid shape though, you can't put a regular candle in it because the candle would heat up the glass and eventually break it. You could put a fake candle in there, like you can get these little votive candles that are made with like, have like a little button on them and there's a, a battery in there. That would work for a, if you wanted to make a shape like that. You could even make a shape that has multiple sides. Now obviously this is really elaborate, but I'm just giving you some ideas, okay? Now these were just made in Sculpture and Design 2, and a girl made this one, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so she had all these irregular shapes that's put together. And here's a girl that just was finishing hers today. You can see, we basically we're gonna make four sides, we're gonna solder those sides together, and then assemble it. Now, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna design this on the computer ahead of time. So in Adobe Illustrator, we're gonna design what the four sides are gonna look like. Now this particular person here, he has two sides that are exactly the same, side one and then side three. Side two is this sort of sunset, and then he reversed it, used different colors to make side four. So this is side one, two, three, and four, and that's how he plans on putting his together. So this is one of the sides with the glass cut out and what it looks like, okay? So basically, these are three basic shapes that you can make your box out of. So what I have here is I've got some paper patterns. They're made on sheets of paper and I have them on my desk. And what you can do when you first start is you'll just take a pencil and a colored pencil and you'll kind of decide where do you want your divisions on the box? Where are the pieces of glass gonna be? And then what colors you want on it? Is the design gonna wrap all the way around? You could have a design where it actually wraps all the way around the box, okay? Or it could, each side could be slightly different. It depends on what your plan is. So we're gonna, you're gonna cut these out and sort of plan them with a pencil first, and then on the computer, we're gonna put super straight lines on there and real solid colors and really plan the design out. Got that? So um, I'll be showing you that in just a minute on how we're gonna go about that. So once again, you can buy, I've got some of these candles at home. These are these little votive candles. They're, I got bags of them. 
I'll bring some in. So that works great if your box is open like these two. But if you'd have a box that's closed like this one, then you would have uh, one of these little uh, basically fake candles. It's got a little battery in there, okay? That you'd have to provide on your own. Any questions? So that's what we're starting on. And I'm gonna go through the basics of how to cut glass right now. I've got a demonstration because it's hard to decide how to put your design together if you don't know how to cut glass, okay? So I'm gonna show you in a minute how to cut glass because that'll determine what your shapes are gonna look like. So give me a second here.